This snippet is Using Expression Web's Publishing Feature to Deploy Your Website. My name is Jeremy Osborne, presenting from AGI Training for Microsoft. In this snippet, you'll learn how to publish your website using Expression Web's Publishing Feature. Specifically, you'll learn how to set up your publishing settings on an FTP and SFTP server, and also learn best practices as to which files you need to upload to your remote server and which files can stay on your local system. So we'll get started here by defining a local site in Expression Web. I'll choose Site, Open Site, and then I'll click Browse. And then I'll locate this folder, Deploying Your Site Using Expression Web. I'll double click this folder and then select the subfolder, Lucerne Site, and choose Open. I'll click Open one more time. And here within our site files, we can see all the HTML files and assets associated with this website. Now, in order to publish to a remote server, in order to get our files online, we need a connection. Now, chances are the way I connect here will be slightly different than your setup. However, the general steps should be the same. In order to access an FTP server, I'm going to choose Site, Publishing, Settings. Within the Publishing section, I'd like to add a new publishing destination by clicking the Add button. Once I click that button, the Connection Settings window appears, and here I need to put in some information. So the first thing I'll put in here is the name of my site. In this case, the site is called Lucerne. So I'll type that in here. Now the second step is the connection type. The most common method of transferring files is FTP, or File Transfer Protocol. Now if we click on this menu, we can see a few other options. If possible, on your server, use SFTP. SFTP is a more secure version of FTP, however, not all servers support it. Again, FTP is the more common version. I'll be using that here. Now the next step is the location, and here's where your details will differ. Oftentimes, the location will be a domain, like Microsoft.com, or in our case, I'll use AGIServer.com. Now the next field, directory, is optional. If you happen to know this directory, go ahead and put it in. However, it's not needed. In my case, I'm going to leave it blank. Now these next two steps are always needed, the username and the password. This actually gives you access to your FTP server. I'll go ahead and put in my username, and then I'll put in my password. Once I've put in that information, I'll click Add. I now have a new publishing destination. I'll go ahead and click OK. So I've added my settings, and of course I only have to do this once. Now I'd like to go ahead and publish these files to my site. In order to do this, I'll choose Site, Publishing. The site view changes, and I'm now able to connect to my publishing destination. I'll do that by clicking this blue hyperlink here. And on the left-hand side, I have my local view. On the right-hand side, I have the remote view. So now I'm able to publish. Now there's a few different ways to publish. I'll show you one option. In this case, I'm looking at a server that has absolutely nothing on it. These files are simply system files that are necessary for my server. So for example, I could go ahead and take my default.html page, which is my home page, and if I wanted to add this to the server, I could click and drag it over to the right and drop it in. You can see here that it's copying, and now default.html is on my remote server, and it's live. However, Expression Web offers a few other features as well. You can see on the left-hand side of all of my files here, there's a blue arrow. So this currently means that all of these files will automatically get transferred if I want them to. That's not always the case, however. Let's look at this file, default.dwt. This is my template file. This template file really does not need to be published to the web. It can stay on my local system. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click it, and I'm going to choose this option, Exclude from Publishing. When I do that, I get a red circle with an X indicating that this will stay behind. So at this point, all of these files are going to be transferred. In order to transfer these files plus these associated folders, I'll go over here and I'll click this button, Publish Files to the Destination Site. Once I click that, publishing will begin. You may be asked a few questions based on your server. I'll go ahead and click No here. Now once the transfer takes place, within the Publishing Status window, we can actually see the progress of these files. Depending on how many files you have on your system, this could take a while. So what we'll do is we'll return to the screen once everything is complete. We're done publishing at this point, and we can see here that my remote server has all of my files necessary. Remember that the default.dwt file is excluded, and if we look here, we can see that this does not exist on that file. So best practices dictate that we do not need to put files online that we're not actually using. 
In this case, the template file is only a local one. So we've successfully published our local site to a remote server. Keep in mind that some of the details may be different in your setup. Thank you for now. My name is Jeremy Osborne, presenting from AGI Training for Microsoft.